It was at the age of 17 that I realized I was struggling with a mental health condition. I remember I started to unravel. I started to spiral into rapid thinking and I started to have issues sleeping and I started to have uh, hearing, I started hearing voices and seeing things that nobody else could see or hear. Auditory and visual hallucinations, paranoid delusions. But here's the problem. I kept it all to myself. I buried it. I silenced my pain. And I looked out at that audience and I had the most horrible, horrendous feeling. I believed that everyone in that audience were there to do one thing, rise, rush the stage simultaneously and end my life. It was petrifying, but it happened. And that's when I knew I had a real problem. I would go and see my first psychiatrist after that. It was very difficult to accept that I had a mental health condition because I had just come off a, a, the previous year a WCAL wrestling championship. My football team would go to state. I would be on the speech and debate team, albeit for two days before they kicked me off, but I was there. Uh, I did a great many things in extracurricular activity in high school and having this diagnosis of bipolar disorder really threw me off. Why do I have this disease? I don't want it, I don't need it, I don't like it, I don't want it to be here. But in fact, it was loud and proud. It was not giving up, not giving in. It was taking over my life. I was reluctant to utilize treatment that was right in front of me. I had the ability to see psychiatrists. I was on medications. I could have uh, worked a lot harder to better my brain health every single day. Instead, I lied through my teeth every day my family, to my father, to my mom, to my brother and sister, to my friends. I told them I was fine on a regular basis when I was not. I told them that I'd be doing well and I was adequately following their treatment plan. I lied. I wasn't following the treatment plan. I was all over the place. And it would lead me on September 25th of the year 2000, almost 20 years ago coming up, to go over that rail. It was the worst action of my entire life. I regretted it instantaneously upon my hands leaving the rail. Bipolar disorder played a huge role in me attempting to take my life as it does for so many people around the world. You know, I really wish I knew early on about having a mental health condition that it wasn't a death sentence and that I could get better and that with hard work, dedication, a bit of drive and a lot of support from others that I could survive and thrive while living with this diagnosis. Your brain is the single most powerful organ you wield. It's controlling every other organ in the body in some way, shape, or form. And if you're not taking care of your brain, the rest of you will fall. And so I really, really do wish that people empathize more with people in mental pain. If you've been newly diagnosed with bipolar disorder, or frankly, a diagnosis of any mental illness or addiction or substance use, I would say to you this, Take a deep breath, in four, out eight, into the nose, out to the mouth, then do that 30 more times. Understand that this is just the beginning of you on your traveling path to recovery. That this recovery path is gonna be arduous, long, sometimes difficult, but know this, you will and can and must get better. You deserve to get better.